Well, hello everybody and welcome back to our journey down the road to somewhere. And uh, it's been a little bit of a time since we started our break, but we're back. And uh, actually we're calling this season two and uh, this will be episode one then of season two of The Road to Somewhere. Uh, I thought for those that might be jumping in and uh, weren't with us on our uh, first season, which was six weeks, that I'd give you just a quick little uh, overview of what's going on here. But uh, we're looking at uh, the story that's contained in my book, uh, The Road to Somewhere, and the kind of underlying uh, storyline of the book is that uh, John Calvin, who was the uh, main character in the prequel to this book, Somewhere Fast, and uh, a young uh, female videographer by the name of Joy Jardine uh, have been hired to uh, go down Route 66 and at uh, 66 different stops to film a short video that serves as an introduction to the 66 uh, lectures that are contained in a series I actually taught uh, that uh, isn't fiction but now has been moved over into the world of fiction and becomes a part of this book. I ought to back up and just say that, uh, you know, my motivation for writing the book was I wanted to do something that might uh, encourage people to go to those videos and uh, go through the entire Bible uh, in 66 weeks. And so at the end of every chapter in the book, uh, uh, John gives a little bit of a teaser to the uh, biblical book that corresponds to the stop that they're making on Route 66. And then what you have uh, in either your email or on Facebook is that you'll have a second link uh, that will take you directly over to that book. So, you know, my hope is that uh, along with uh, me being able to give you a little bit of telling you the story of the book for those that haven't read it, uh, is that uh, you'd be motivated to, to watch those videos uh, that give you an overview of every book of the Bible. Um, just to kind of, again, uh, remind you uh, there are eight states that Route 66 uh, passes through, and uh, interestingly, there are eight major divisions of the Protestant Bible. And so uh, every state serves as a, a season or a leg of this journey. And then what we've done is that in each of those legs that correspond to a state, uh, there are a certain number of books that are contained within it. So our first uh, uh, season uh, went through the, uh, the Torah, uh, or what sometimes is called the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. So there were five stops in the state of Illinois. And uh, we ended right on uh, the uh, border uh, between Illinois and Missouri, which is going to be our, uh, our second state here and uh, Missouri is going to uh, correspond to what are called the historical books uh, of the Old Testament, and there are 12 of those. So there will actually be 12 stops uh, in the state of Missouri, but we're gonna split it uh, into two parts so that we'll do six sessions, and then that'll bring us up basically to uh, Palm Sunday and Easter and then we'll take a little bit of a break and we'll come back and we'll do the second half of uh, Missouri and the second half of, of season two then. So that, that's a little bit of how uh, things are structured. And by the way, in every episode, so this is episode one, of course, of season two, uh, in every episode, there really are kind of four levels to the story, which is something that uh, you might want to be aware of. So you're getting kind of a four in one every time we go through one of our little introductions here. Uh, one is that you do get a bit of a, uh, a look at what it would be like to uh, take a journey on Route 66. Uh, secondly, there's a relationship involved in the story. It's kind of at the heart of the uh, story itself uh, between John Calvin and uh, his videographer Joy, and we're going to see how that relationship develops along the way. 
And uh, then there's the teaser that he's going to give because as they uh, shoot their little videos, he always gives a teaser to uh, one of the books of the Bible. And then, of course, there's the link that takes you actually to the video. So there's kind of four levels to, uh, to every episode. And uh, today, again, uh, we will head into our uh, second season, and we will start with episode one. And remember that when we ended, uh, and again, this is Missouri, was what we'll be going through in these next weeks together on Route 66. Uh, this is actually the Chain of Rocks Bridge, and we are looking at it from the Illinois side of things. So where we stopped last time, uh, John and Joy were sitting uh, right on the border between Illinois and Missouri, and that border is actually the Mississippi River. And so you have to go across a bridge to get from Illinois to Missouri. And in the old days of Route 66, uh, this bridge, the Chain of Rocks Bridge, was one of the main ways across the Mississippi and into Missouri. Uh, you no longer can drive on this. It's now become sort of one of the Route 66 icons, but you can actually walk across the bridge and walk all the way from Illinois over to uh, Missouri. Uh, by the way, Mississippi, I, I learned, uh, is an uh, Algonquin Indian name, and uh, it uh, basically means big river. And uh, of course, if you've ever seen the Mississippi, you know that it is a big river. But uh, if you watch the video, uh, I'll go into some detail on that on the video also. So uh, when we go across the river where we're going to be crossing it, uh, our first stop is actually going to be St. Louis. And this is kind of fun for me, and it was uh, something I also uh, wrote about uh, in Somewhere Fast, because what I did is I took my own family's history and uh, turned it into fiction to use in the story. You know, I, I thought one of the things that might be interesting to some of you is that periodically as we move along to give you a little bit of the background as to uh, why I wrote what I wrote. But in this case, uh, in the story again, uh, St. Louis was the home of John Calvin. And it was, uh, it was my home in terms of where I uh, uh, was born, actually. And I was the fifth generation of my family to uh, live in St. Louis. My great, great grandfather uh, was an immigrant who came from Wurttemberg, Germany. And uh, when he got to the States, he came to St. Louis, where there was quite a large uh, German immigrant uh, community, actually. And so uh, I, I we weave that into the story. Um, uh, first of all, let me just take you to, as show you a little bit, so uh, if you see up in the upper right-hand corner of the star, that's about where we stopped last time, parked again on the east side of the Jordan. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down on the Illinois side and come across um, the McKinley Bridge into uh, what is really kind of the heart of old St. Louis. And our very first uh, stop, which is kind of a fun stop, uh, that we're going to make is at uh, a place called Ted Drew's, which is a famous Route 66 stop, and it's, uh, it's an ice cream uh, parlor, basically. But what they're famous for is a creation that they made many years ago uh, that they called the concrete. And the concrete was basically a frozen custard with whatever you uh, chose to get mixed in with it. And it was really the, uh, I, I guess you'd call it the forerunner of the blizzard, and, uh, or the blizzard ripped off the concrete, however you want to look at it. But uh, that's what Ted Drews was famous for. So in the story, um, uh, they stop there, uh, Joy and John. And John kind of knew about this because, again, this is where he grew up in St. Louis. So um, after they've made that stop, the other thing that uh, John wants to do is he wants to take a little bit of a detour. 
and he's going to detour up here to an intersection of two major roads a natural bridge road that runs all the way from downtown and then the north to south road is King's Highway and uh, when my uh, great grandfather uh, was uh, born and grew up there in uh, St. Louis uh, he was the uh, owner and proprietor of a uh, saloon that sat at this intersection. It was called the Three Mile House uh, and every mile out from the city on some of these major roads like Natural Bridge Road there would be a uh, what was basically a saloon and a restaurant sort of combined and they were uh, they were always identified by what mile marker they were at so there was the one mile house, two mile house, three mile house and my great grandfather uh, uh, owned that particular uh, a mile house. It's where my grandmother on my maternal side was born and uh, grew up. And then interestingly, so I, I could tell this story in the book, uh, um, although it, again, it's John's story in the book. But then another thing that happened here was that uh, my grandfather, who was an immigrant from Estonia, uh, made his way from uh, Florida where he had uh, stowed away on a ship out of Riga, Latvia and spoke no English whatsoever and uh, from Florida eventually made his way to St. Louis. He and his brother had a, uh, a pickled pig company, uh, pickled pig uh, leg or whatever it is that you pickle on a pig, I can't remember, but uh, they had a company and they actually uh, sold their product to my uh, great grandfather's uh, restaurant and saloon there and he met my grandmother and they were married and uh, after they were married one block over from where the Three Mile House was uh, eventually my grandfather opened a restaurant there. It was surrounded at the time by a lot of factories and so factory workers would come come there for lunch and that's where my mom was born. So I, again I, I fictionalize all of that and weave it into the story and John uh, takes joy to see it. And then he does an interesting thing because he takes her about three blocks up. So from an aerial view, this would be uh, the intersection of Kings Highway and Natural Bridge Road. And uh, even when I was a, uh, a youngster, I can remember this, about three blocks up there was an automobile factory. And what that automobile factory was famous for was it was a Chevy plant and out of that plant they began to build a car called a Corvette. And so John takes Joy up the street to kind of tell her that part of the story, what it is now at the time when the, uh, the novel takes place is it's, uh, it's become an office park. Uh, the factory is no longer there, but, uh, but he wants her to see this because along with simply the fact that Corvettes were built there, actually the car that they are driving on the trip, which has been modified uh, significantly, was actually built at that factory. And so they decide, well, why don't we go ahead and uh, shoot uh, the video for uh, St. Louis right here and use this as a bit of a background and tell the story. And so uh, they do, they shoot the video, and uh, if you have read the book, you know that again, John kind of gives a bit of the family background, and, uh, and then he begins to introduce uh, again, what uh, part of the Bible that as they go through Missouri that they are going to uh, be dealing with and that is the 12 books of Jewish history uh, that actually begin uh, with the book of Joshua and so even though we have a bit of the history of Israel in the book of uh, Genesis and, and uh, Numbers and uh, even Deuteronomy, 
uh, in terms of how we identify the next 12 books, it's really the, uh, the history of Israel for about a thousand years, actually. It, it, it will take us during the, the times that we do that. 12 books of that history, so again, uh, 12 stops, and again, the first one being Joshua. You might remember uh, that in our last stop, when we were going through the book of Deuteronomy, that the, uh, the nation of Israel, having come out of Egypt, spent 40 years in the wilderness, finally has made it up to the east banks of the Jordan River and are now ready to uh, enter into the land and, and basically go to war against the nations that currently occupy that land and to, uh, to capture and to conquer the land. Uh, remember, one of the big events that happens right at this point in time is that uh, Moses, who's been forbidden to enter the promised land because of an act of disobedience, uh, clear back in the book of Exodus, um, he is, is turning leadership of the nation of Israel over to Joshua, and he actually uh, goes up into the region of Mount Nebo, we're told, and dies. And the Bible actually says that God buried him, kind of so that no one would know where Moses had been buried so that it wouldn't be, you know, turned into some sort of a, a place of false worship of Moses himself. So um, you got to remember also that as we're going through this, and even as John is uh, giving a little bit of a teaser to the book of Joshua that up to this point in the story, uh, uh, Joy does not know that John has this background, that actually he was a Presbyterian minister and uh, went through some difficult times, uh, basically left the, that part of the ministry and at the end of uh, Somewhere Fast, he's doing, he's doing pretty well. He's had a spiritual experience and kind of gotten back on track. But in the meantime, about five years have elapsed. And uh, again, in the book, without spoiling it, I'll just tell you he's gone through some personal crises. And uh, as a consequence, he's gone back, finished up his PhD in psychology, and is uh, teaching psychology at a small community college uh, in uh, Kansas City. And as far as Joy knows, that's, uh, that's all that uh, he does. She has no idea that he has this uh, very in-depth background in the Bible, and he's kind of playing along uh, as, as a charade, really not wanting to tell her about his background, that he's simply a uh, professor at a community college and that he really doesn't know much about the Bible when in reality he is actually quite versed in it. So Joshua, he gives a little teaser uh, about it and actually focuses in a bit on, particularly on the uh, Battle of Jericho, but then, as is true in each chapter of the book, he tries to uh, push the viewers that are watching these videos that they're creating over to the lecture uh, on the uh, book of Joshua, which you have the link to. Um, it, it's really a story of conquest. Uh, they finally cross the Jordan River. It's a great story about how that takes place, and it's on the uh, lengthier video and uh, come through and of course uh, have the famous uh, Battle of Jericho. And then the book goes on to describe uh, really two big uh, military campaigns that take place at this point in time uh, where they divide the land by going on and conquering Ai and some other cities. And then there's a southern campaign where they, they fight these little nation states, these Canaanites, uh, that are living in the land. And, and let me go back and say this, because at first you might think, well, that's not quite fair, you know, that they're displacing these people. But all the way back in Genesis, when God reveals to Abraham that his descendants are gonna spend 400 years in slavery uh, in Egypt, he makes the statement because the sins of the Canaanites are not yet complete. 
So what God is doing is he's really using the nation of Israel uh, to judge these pagan nations that are involved in, uh, you know, child sacrifice and uh, uh, the worship of Baal and Ashtoreth and, and uh, uh, things that are uh, just very displeasing to God. And so the conquest of the land is really being given to them, not because of how virtuous they are, although he warns them that uh, if, in fact, they uh, don't... Uh, follow him and are not faithful in their relationship to him, that the same thing that's happened to the nations in the land will happen to them. And, and actually our next episode uh, goes into some detail in that. So again, it's the story both of conquering the land and then secondly, uh, whoops, let me go back here. Uh, secondly, uh, they settle the land and the land is divided up among the tribes of Israel, and every tribe is assigned a certain portion of the land. Uh, ultimately, uh, the, when the nation goes through civil war and splits into a northern and southern kingdom, there'll be 10 of those tribes to the north, and there'll be two to the south, and then the tribe of Levi uh, will sort of be split because there's two half tribes. Joseph. Uh, splits his inheritance between two of his sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. And so when you look at the list of the tribes of Israel, you'll actually see 13 tribes, although two of them are technically called half tribes. So again, in the video, uh, you know, John kind of uh, reminds them a bit uh, about this famous battle and the conquest, what happens and as I'm doing, encourages them then to go and to watch the video on the book of Joshua, which is where you have a link, again, in your email or on Facebook to go to that. It's session eight is what you're uh, looking for, although the link will take you there automatically because session seven was kind of that overview that I gave to you over the Christmas holidays that, uh, that kind of gave an overview of the whole uh, book of the Bible and how it fits together. So um, that's what I would encourage you to do. Uh, take some time, go and, uh, and watch the lecture on the book of Joshua. And then uh, next week we've got another really interesting stop. Uh, and uh, if I were to give a, a spoiler, I would say that if the uh, uh, title of this week's little uh, episode is, in fact, um, uh, we might call it Conquest. Next week's we'll call Disaster. And uh, you'll see why would we get into what happens as we look uh, not only at our journey down Route 66, but also as we look at the book of Judges. So thanks for jumping back in. Hope you'll hang with us, tell some friends, uh, share the, uh, you know, the, uh, the Facebook site, uh, the little listing there, share it with some of your friends or, or invite some of your friends to join us as we continue on this journey, both down the road and through the book. So thanks for being with us this week and we'll, uh, we'll see you next week. Okay.